the noise was absolutely incredible when they hit each other. It was so loud. The thing about that fight, which was amazing, was that you could smell it. The noise and the tension and the smell of that event, I'll never forget. I'm Emma Napper and I was the director on the kangaroo sequence for Life Story. The Life Story followed animals in different life stages, so from being born to growing up to gaining power or dominance and then eventually becoming parents themselves. The kangaroo fight was part of the power episode where we wanted to show how important it is for animals to gain dominance in a group and how different animals go about that. To get to the top, he must become a fighter. The battles are so brutal that males need years of training to prepare. The effort is worth it because a champion fighter wins privileged access to the females. The kangaroos for this shoot were filmed in Kosciuszko National Park in Eastern Australia. I'd never been to this part of Australia at all and I'd never seen kangaroos in the wild. And there were two things that took me by surprise. First of all is that kangaroos are real animals. I think we, in the UK, we grow up with them in books, but to see them in, in real life, you're like, wow, that, that really does exist, it's crazy. The other thing was that we went to Australia, right? Australia is warm. I've seen that on TV as well. It was freezing. It was, we had snowstorms, we got stuck on the mountains. We bought shorts and walking shoes and t-shirts and uh, yeah, day two, we had to go and find a shop and, and buy jumpers. This area is grasslands with forests. That was actually really helpful for filming the kangaroos because they actually uh, disperse quite a lot at night and then during the day they come back into these quite contained areas and they're kind of forced to do that a little bit by the environment. The area where we're in is mostly females and joeys, then half-grown males. This meadow is a boot camp for aspiring boxers. Training starts as soon as a youngster is out of the pouch. Its mother is a handy opponent for a young Joey learning the basics. I think kangaroos are a bit bigger than I expected them to be anyway, but we got used to seeing the size of the females and the babies, and every so often a male would, would come in and we'd say, is that a big male? Oh yeah, it does look a bit of a big male. But um, when the dominant male for that area turned up, because he wasn't there every day, but when he turned up, we were suddenly like, yes, that is, that is a huge animal. He was absolutely incredible so big and so muscly and yeah the size of his his neck and his arms and his tail i mean he's a, a giant animal incredibly impressive and slightly intimidating this male alone rules the meadow he stands eight feet tall his muscles hardened by years of sparring there's a shot in the sequence where he just stands up he wasn't looking at us he was looking at other males that were a long way off behind us, but he was just looking up to see what was going on. But when he went from being on all fours to that moment where he lifted himself up in front of the camera, I mean, I don't know how the, the camera operator didn't, didn't run. That was an incredible, incredible moment. I remember sitting there looking at the screen thinking, wow, what an amazing shot, and then looking up and thinking, oh, that's quite close, isn't it? Luckily, they're not intimidated by people and they're not aggressive to people. So it was a nice situation for being able to observe natural behaviour without interfering with them at all. We had both of our camera operators um, filming the dominant male, and then we saw the rival male appear into this arena. The, the dominant male was a little bit away from us, and the rival came towards him, and we, both camera operators and myself, we just stayed very still. When two males square up, it's time to clear the arena. And then this fight started happening and then it came closer and closer and closer and closer to where we were. The fight went on for uh, probably two or three times longer than it looks like in the, in the final cut. It was a big, a big fight and the noise was absolutely incredible when they hit each other. It was so loud. They came, they came in the end within sort of five or ten metres of us and it was incredibly loud. The thing about that fight, which was amazing to me as well, was that you could smell it. Both males smelt really, really strongly as soon as they started fighting. The, the noise and the tension and the smell of that, that event, I'll, I'll never forget that. The dominant male's skill is already telling. Suddenly, it's all over. The champion has beaten off the challenger at least for now. So when it had finished, 
and the rival disappeared and the male wandered off and went back to eating whatever he was doing. There were patches of fur all over the ground. And I went and picked one up and it smelled of, it smelled of coffee. It smelled of really strong coffee. It was a really, quite a nice smell, but we, we did our best to, to show how full on that fight was in the sequence. But uh, yeah, I'll never forget the kind of, the noise and the smell of being there. Those big fights don't happen very often at all. We were really lucky, even given that time, to, to be in the right place to capture that. But it allowed us also to show all the behaviour of the babies learning to box. The thing that I found quite charming about the kangaroos was they're not threatened by people. They get on with doing their own thing. I'd also say they're not, they're not super bright, but they're very, very curious. So I really enjoyed on that shoot as well, sort of quiet moments where you would sit and we'd be filming the young, learning how to box and things like that. And they just, they just sort of come closer and closer and closer to you, um, like kind of curious puppies. And you'd end up turning around and there'd just be one sort of essentially directing over your shoulder, just looking at the camera or looking at what you were doing or kind of, you know, seeing what was in your bag. There's all that violence, but they're incredibly curious, gentle things most of the time.